Hello, I'm Asher from Curator Support, and in this video, I will show you how to check your auto update version. The Curator Automatic Update Bundle contains the latest RPMs, DSMs, and other changes for your console. If you are experiencing issues with your auto updates, it may be because you are on an old version such as 9.9. .9. Users on versions later than 9.10 might experience a bad signatures error, and users on versions 9.9 .9 or earlier might experience a could not retrieve signatures error that can prevent auto updates from completing. This video explains how to confirm your version, update it, and check for two common auto update related errors. If you're experiencing a specific error, see the video chapters to skip to that section. Before you start, use the link on the screen to go to the Curator 101 auto updates page to see what the most current version is. You'll find it here near the top of the page. As of recording, the most recent version is 9.16. Next, SSH into your console and enter the following command, which you can copy and paste from the article linked in the description. This command reports your auto update version. My version is 9.8, which as we saw earlier, is very out of date. Remember that you need to check the 101 site to confirm the latest version because it might have updated since when this video was recorded. Depending on your version, there are two different errors you might face. For 9.9 .9 and earlier, you might find a could not retrieve signatures error in your auto update logs. For versions 9.10 and later, you might find a bad signatures error. Next, I'll show you how to check your error. The auto update error logs are stored in var log auto updates. So let's navigate to that directory. To confirm the error, we need to grep the most recent log document for the error. We can use ls-lart to list the log files and identify the one with the most recent timestamp. For me, there's only one. Next, I'll copy and paste the grep command from the tech note. So take this, paste it in, and remember to replace this section here with your log file name if it's different. Looking here, we see the error was found in my log file. If the command returns blank, you do not have the error. If you're on version 9.10 or later, change this section here to bad signature. I'm on version 9.8 and I found the could not retrieve signatures error, which is caused by deprecated GPG keys on the system. I'll need to use the QRadar QU proxy FP utility to update it. If you're on 9.10 or later and found the bad signatures error, skip to the next section for the solution. Before you begin, you need to download the utility. You can click the link on the screen to go to Fix Central or find the link in the tech note here. Once you're at Fix Central, click Continue, then scroll down to the download and right click to copy the link. Now use wget to download the file to your temp directory. You can do it in the home directory, you just have to remember to clean up the files afterward. Let's enter that temp directory and use tar to extract the file. If the tar command returns an error, go to the tech note to see instructions for how to use gunzip instead. Let's enter that directory that was created during unzipping. Then finally, run the install script. And here we see the installation has completed successfully. Now that the script has fixed the signature error, we need to run auto update to get that final update. To do that, log into your QRadar console as an admin, go to the Admin tab, open Auto Updates, and click here to get the newest update. Updates can take an hour or more, so watch the QRadar system notifications to tell when they are complete. Once that's complete, you can return to the terminal and run that command to check your version to confirm that it's updated. And here we see I'm on 9.16 now. If this was your error, you can skip to the conclusion part of the video now. Users on auto update version 9.10 or later can experience a bad signatures error. If you found this error in your logs, you can delete the AUCERT PEM file from your console, then run a manual auto update to regenerate it. To do this, log into your console, then open the store auto updates directory. Next run rm space au dash cert dot pm to delete the certificate. Then log into your console as an admin user, go to the admin tab, then auto updates, 
and click Get New Updates. Updates can take an hour or more, so watch the QRadar system notifications to tell when they are complete. When that's complete, you can go back to your terminal and run the command to check your version to ensure it's on the latest version. And here you see I'm on 9.16. We covered how to check what auto update version you are on, how to upgrade it, and how to resolve two common errors that might be preventing your auto updates from installing. Remember that you can use the test connection command to check your connection to the update server. If you encounter any errors that are not described here or the procedures do not resolve the issue you are experiencing with auto updates, then use the link in the video description to contact Curator Support.